Hey, welcome back. This morning we're joined by Paul Scheid and Tad Pritchett. Good morning, guys. Good morning. morning. And today we're talking about one of the bloodiest and uh, biggest battles of World War II, the Battle of the Bulge. Paul, you know about this firsthand because you fought. I was there. Tell us about, uh, about what it was like. It was not just a day-long thing. It was several weeks. It uh, started early in about the 16th of December and it ran up into January. And uh, it was cold. It, we had, it was the worst winter they had ever had in, Ber in Belgium. Uh, we were in about 10 miles from Bastogne, mm -hmm. our, the little town where we were stationed, and where the, I think it was the 7th Panzer Division made their push right where we were. So we had to retreat away and uh, back to better, uh, better grounds. And what was, the, what was the, the mood at the time? Was it? Uh, well, I guess, uh, like always, you're, you're scared. Mm -hmm. uh, but you, you don't have time to think to, sure, too yeah. much about it. You just go about your business and uh, do your job. Do your job. And, and now this is something that, that you speak about. This is uh, part of your group, the Northeast Kansas chapter of Veterans of the Battle of the Bulge. And this weekend, there's an event to not only uh, commemorate this major battle in World War II, but also to share a little bit of the history. Yes, um, this is our fourth annual event. Mm -hmm. um, and we're a chapter, we're called the Northeast Kansas Chapter of the Veterans of the Battle of the Bulge. It's a national organization. Um, this year we're devoting our whole meeting to uh, veteran stories. And uh, they'll be able to tell about their time in the Battle of the Bulge and their time uh, really in Europe. Uh, we plan on having a number of uh, period artifacts. Uh, hope to have some military vehicles there, an ambulance and some things like that. Um, so I think it'll be a, a really very, very good program. I think the, um, uh, you know, Paul sort of understated the, the magnitude of the Battle of the Bulge. Sure. You know, there were a million um, people that fought in that battle, and most of them were teenagers. Um, and it was a, a pivotal time in our history. And I think that, that what we're trying to do as a chapter is um, to not only recognize their accomplishments and sacrifice, but also to learn what it is to regain lost freedom. I mean, that's really the message that we need to learn. Uh, it, it is so easy to lose and so very difficult to get back. And that's, that's really our objective in the chapter. Sure, and also so people uh, looking from the outside in can understand the sacrifice that the veterans like Paul put, put forward there. Right. How old were you during the battle? I was 20 at that time. 20, wow. I, we landed in Normandy, I was 19. Huh. And uh, went on through to Berlin. Wow. Ended up there. I was 21 in Berlin. So, spent my youth. <laughs> You're right, yeah. And this weekend, a chance to meet Paul and meet others who share similar stories. Yes, yes. Uh, we expect to have roughly 25 uh, wow. veterans. Uh, we'll have some World War II veterans that were not in the Battle of the Bulge, but fought in different areas. Uh, what we'd like to do is also have them tell their stories. Sure. And, and this then, is in Manhattan uh, at the American Legion. Yeah, Coast, it's at right? the American Legion on McCall. And the doors open at 11 o'clock. Okay. Uh, the program will start at about 12.15. All right. Well, we'll get some more information uh, from you guys at our Fox show, and I'll also post some stuff online. So thank you Great. for coming out today. We'll send it over to Tom for a check of the weather. Thank you, Hillary, and thank you for your service, Paul. Uh, it's 6.30. Let's take a look at...